According to the patient's complaints, we have to also consider a possible SARS-CoV-2 infection. To find out, we normally would do an oral or nasopharyngeal swab for a PCR. At the earliest of 24 hours, we will receive the results, but the prognosis system gives us the possibility to detect a virus infection within approximately 15 minutes by a very simple procedure of a non-invasive measurement of the start and end points of the 12 main meridians. My medical assistant will now take the patient with her to carry out the mentioned measurement with the prognosis system. This special measurement program is called Virus Express Screening, a part of the Prognos Net. This screening includes six diagnosis frequencies subdivided in First, Virus 1. This represents the frequency of the influenza virus. Second, Bacteria. This is standing for a composition of frequencies of different bacteria. Third, virus 2. This represents the frequency of the Epstein Barr virus. Fourth, immunosystem, which gives you information about the status of the patient's immunosystem. Fifth, virus 3. This is the frequency of SARS CoV. Two. Sixth, allergy. It indicates a possible allergical issue. When the measurement is completed, you will receive a chart with green and red bars. The green bars are above the baseline and the red bars are below. Referring to the fact that we have stimulated the body with the above mentioned frequencies, red bars represent a negative reaction which easily means that the body has no problem with this particular issue. In the next step, we of course want to now find out how we can help the patient. Therefore, the prognosis system includes the frequencies of a variety of naturopathic, homeopathic and allopathic remedies, which can be separately tested if they take sufficient effect on the patient's body. It is safe to say that this is non-invasive, personalized diagnostic and therapy recommendation. Hello, hello. I have an appointment. Hello. Hello. Please come in. Take a seat, please. Very kind. Thank you so much. So now tell me, what are your problems? I haven't been feeling well for about two days and last night I had a, a slight temperature okay. and I've got such a headache and, and sore throat and I, I do have to go to the bathroom more often than I usually do. Okay, okay. Did you measure the temperature? Yes I did. Okay, what was it? It was uh, 38.3 okay. degrees centigrade. Okay, okay. Did your joint hurt? Oh, my joints hurt as well, yeah. This is like okay, okay. really bad. So I uh, think we are starting with our special diagnostic system. Does it hurt? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. You will see it's a quite simple procedure. Does it take a lot of time? I no. Mean... no, no. It's going to be very fast. About, it will take about 15 minutes. Wow. So my medical assistant will take you with her. And yeah. then when you'll be back, I'm going to demonstrate you what we found out. Fantastic. Okay. First of all, we have to create the patient's personal data. Click the plus button to open a new file. The essential information is featured with a red dot. Needed is surname, first name, date of birth and sex. After registering these data, click the button with a check mark for saving. Preparing for measurement, the reference electrode is attached with the bare metal side to the skin of the patient's left wrist. Choosing the patient's name, press the button P as shown in the upper toolbar, 
Then click the external DB for Prognosnet. A window opens. Tap on the plus button in front of Prognosnet and screening VES to open the program for measuring the six wave files or diagnosis frequency spectra. Before starting the measuring program, click the button main measurement with three passes, three in one. The three basic measurements are made without frequency spectra. Starting with the left thumb acupuncture point, lung 11. Then the other acupuncture points on fingers and toes follow. You can prove if you are measuring the right finger or toe at any time during the measurements. Therefore, just have a look on the screen and see the finger or toe symbols with a red dot in the right position. To transfer the signals in the Meridian system, headphones are needed. The measurement procedure starts from the beginning. For visualizing the results, click the button Therapy Control in the upper toolbar and select Therapy Control Meridian. For a better summary, click options on the right hand side and change proportions from 70 to 30 to 99 to 1%. Then click View and press the button Separated Together. This gives you an easy to interpret graphic. After interpreting the graphic, we can now choose the different preparations for the patient. The drugs that are not to be tested are easily excluded with a double click. The measurements start again on the 24 points. In addition to virtual testing using frequency spectra, the software also offers the option of manually testing existing preparations in clinics or practices. Herefore, the patient takes the preparation in his hand during the measurement. For this, the preparation, solid or liquid substance, is best filled or placed in an empty glass tube. Solid substances can also be handheld. The manually tested preparation must be named and written in the field testing product. The results will be then again shown in the graphic therapy control meridian. I will now demonstrate you the results of your personal virus express screening with PrognosNet. Look at the baseline. This here is the baseline. As you can see, the first bar, which is representing influenza virus, is red and below the baseline. This means you've got no problems with influenza. Bar 2 is green and represents the frequency of a composition of different bacteria. So you obviously have a big problem with a bacterial infection. Oh. The next bar is red and below the baseline. So that means no problems with Epstein-Barr virus. Your immune system is represented by a green bar. So that means there are no significant problems with your immune systems. It obviously works. This bar represents COVID-19. 
And you're really lucky. I am. You are. It is deeply red and below the baseline. Which means negative. Which means negative. Obviously, no infection with SARS-CoV-2. Last not least, there are no problems with any allergical reactions. So now we have to find out how we can help you. Because, as I mentioned, there is obviously a problem with an acute bacterial infection. Well, as you mentioned beforehand, you have to visit the bathroom more often than usual. Normally, we now would send a sample, a urine sample, to the laboratory for a microbiological screening. But that would take quite long, wouldn't it? Exactly. So the advantage of this measurement with Prognos is that using our so-called therapy frequencies, which you have heard via headset, with those frequencies um, we can find out which remedy will be most likely effective to treat your bacterial infection. Interesting. It is. Again, have a look on the baseline. Interesting are the green bars, especially the first green bar representing a special antibiotic. Even this green bar is very high. It's another antibiotic. The first one is amoxicillin clavulan acid. It's a broad spectrum antibiotic. And this here, this bar represents doxycycline. It's another antibiotic stuff. Have a look at the red bars. The red bars are representing other remedies. But red means if you would administer those substances, this wouldn't have any effect at all. Now, I want to demonstrate you a clinical case of a male patient, 23 years old. He was complaining about symptoms of a common cold. Headache, a sore throat, cough and a little fever. This is the first measurement. Focus the baseline. As you can see, the first bar representing influenza virus is green. So that means there could be a problem with an influenza infection. The second bar representing a composition of bacteria is red. So obviously no problems with bacteria. The third bar representing Epstein-Barr virus is again green and above the baseline. Not that high as bar 1. So it could be a problem with an Epstein-Barr virus infection, but it's not that likely. This bar representing the status of the immune system is grey. It's just a little above the baseline. So there shouldn't be a problem with the status of the immune system of the patient. So this is interesting. This green bar here represents the cough, SARS-CoV-2 virus. And as you can see, it is clearly green. That means positive. So it could be an infection with influenza or it could be an infection with SARS-CoV-2. The patient obviously has no problems with any allergical reactions. In the next step, we imported the therapy frequencies via headset. As you can see, there is a clear green bar which represents curcumin. So, curcumin seems a most likely effective substance for treatment. The next bar is grey. It's not that high. It's above the baseline, but not that high. It represents immunoglobulins. So, they wouldn't be really effective. 
This bar is clearly red and below the baseline. It represents hydroxychloroquine. So in this case, hydroxychloroquine wouldn't have any effect. This measurement here was done about 14 days after treating the young man with curcuma. He felt better, really better, and as you can see, all bars representing a virus, influenza, Epstein-Barr and SARS-CoV-2 are red and clearly below the baseline. So that means the virus problem is obviously solved. But now we have to concentrate on a possible bacterial problem. Prognos is a system which supports the physician on his way to find the reasons for a patient's complaints and also provides the advantage to indicate which remedies will be most likely effective in the treatment of the patient's disorders. It is just a recommendation of promising drugs. At the end, the ultimate decision for a specific treatment always lies in the hands of the physician.